Welcome to Bounds Vacuum Service. Over here we have our new equipment. Um, this is Hoover and it's a self-propelled self machine. It's one of the only self-propels on the market. This here is the Panasonic Platinum line. It's the best vacuum, one of the best I have in the store. It, it typically lasts our customers close to 20 years. Those are great things. Royal, the Royal is great. It, it offers, uh, this one here is a lifetime uh, warranty on the head and five years on the motor. It's built to last. This is the best carpet extractor on the market for homes. Other than that, we have uh, steamers. I have a little, I have a stick steamer and a little monster. And this little monster does a lot. It, it has a lot of accessories and, uh, and clean just about anything. Okay, so here we are at Miele. Uh, Mueller's uh, German engineered vacuum cleaner. Number one uh, in Consumer Reports. This is the basic Miele. It comes without electricity. It's, uh, it's, a, it's got great suction, variable suction, like all Miele's. Uh, but this one is no electric. It has a combo head that's good for carpet or hardwood. Okay, that being said, this one's moderately priced. This one is a little more expensive, but it's electric. It allows you to put the premium uh, power head on it. Comes with a, um, all of them have this as well. Um, an extendable wand, retractable wand. This one comes with the combo head, but you can also, for, for this one here, you can also get a power head as well which makes it very similar to the number one consumer reported uh, consumer reports top rated vacuum. And that's it for me. Okay, today we're going to talk about changing a HEPA filter on a Mila uh, C1 Mango. So here we go. And so the first thing you do is disconnect your electric and lift up the cover. And to remove the old one, this is your exhaust filter. You just snap these two clips up, and you snap all the way until it comes out. You remove the old filter, and then to install the new one, you basically you plug in these three tabs into the back and snap it. And that's it. But as well, just to show you the bag, when you go to change these bags, just slide them out. They have an automatic little cover that snaps shut to keep the dust in. And you may want to inspect your intake filter. On this filter, the dirt will be on this side. And the, the clean side, if this is dirty, you need to replace this. But other than that, you just put it back and you snap it back in. And you replace your bags, you put the bag into the unit, and then just slide this into this little grooves. And then this nozzle will push right into that when it shuts. And then go ahead and plug your electric back, and you're ready to go. And that's it for changing a, a HEPA filter and inspecting your bag and your pre filter. Thank you. Hi, my name is Jason, Bounds Vacuum Service, and this is how you change the belt on a sanitaire commercial vacuum. It's quick and easy. Bend it around, flip the handle just like that upside down. Grab the two releases, pop them loose, and now grab the belt, roll it off the pin, lift your brush roller. Got it in there top this time. Slide the belt off. All you got to do to replace is put the other belt, center it in. I find it easier if I put it on the pin first. You'll see there's a groove on the base. If you drop the lower end of your belt to match that groove, you've got it right. Line up your brush roller, 
flat ends up, slap it back in. Make sure it's tight. Take your sole plate, grab the tabs on the front, drop it back down, press, and lock. And you're done.